In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Rise 360 in five minutes. Let's get started. So, as soon as you get to Articulate 360, you're going to go for the Rise 360 um, login. Okay, it's going to look like this. And once you do that, you can go ahead and click on a new course. As you can see, these are several courses I've made before. All right. So I would recommend going with a blank course because it lets you, if you go with a template that's pre-populated, it's easy to leave it in and forget it and then have to go back and, and delete it. All right. So here's the first page. This is your table of contents and this is where you can go ahead and add uh, what you like. So you can say uh, chapter one, right, chapter two, chapter three. And then if let's say you have a, I don't know, you want to add a title or to this group of chapters. And you know, let's say you want to call it, um, I don't know, uh, introduction. Introduction to uh, computer science. Right. Oops. You go ahead and instead of making it a lesson, you go ahead and cl click on shift control enter and now it becomes the title All right. so there we go this doesn't have anything in it this is just a title to name these chapters All right. All right. so that's basically it and you can go ahead and you know create more or less if you want but that's how you create your outline now you want to populate your outline and you can do that by clicking on, clicking on add content and you can either choose a lesson or a quiz. In most cases, you pick a lesson. And then you have several blocks. You have text, list, image, video, process, flashcards, sorting, uh, labeled graphics, and a continue button. Now, I typically use the text. That's the easiest one you're going to use. And under text, you got text uh, paragraph with heading, simple paragraph. Or you got just a heading, or you, you can use uh, quotes, right? Different quotes. Uh, for the most part, you, you'll probably be using this, okay? So, um, and let me just populate it with some kind of dummy text or some kind of text. Let me see. Um, let me just click this. All right, so I'm just going to populate it with. Uh, hold on. All right, I'm just going to populate it with some text. Okay, just for this demonstration. So it's as easy as uh, copy and pasting. Okay, nothing, nothing too crazy about it. It's simple as a word processor, and a good thing is since it's a web-based software, you can go ahead and um, use it on any any. Uh, platform whether it's iOS or, or Android or Windows and then if you want to add an image you just go down and click image and it pops in here now you can always you know change the different type of image or the way it's presented uh, but the default one is this one then if you want to change it you can go ahead and press edit replace image and uh, let's see let me just pick something All right, and you don't have to wait to it load. You can just go ahead and close out, and it'll automatically load here. All right, so that's that's how you add text. That's how you add image. Um, list is just you click list, and you can populate it. If you click enter at the last one, it adds one. All right, and if you click uh, backspace, it deletes it. All right, um, and you can also change it from a numbered list to a checkbox or to a bullet list. So that's text, list, image, and then you have a video. You can go ahead and uh, add a video, and you can also add it through a saved video via your PC, or I believe you can. Uh, I thought you could. No, I guess they, they took it out. All right. Um, yeah, you have to add, you have to basically add a downloaded video here. 
Okay. I remember there used to be a way to add in a YouTube video here, but I guess I, they, <laughs> they took it out. So uh, let's just try this one here. All right. And as it's loading, as you can see, it's uploading. You don't have to stay in this window. You can have it close it, close it, and then you continue on. And when it's done, it will notify you. And then the next pro one is processes. All right. So you go ahead and click that, and it's a, like a step one, step two, step three type of thing. All right. So this is how it looks, and you you go step one, step two, and you can add more or less if you want. All right. That's that's what the process looks like. And you can also do change the settings, um, but that's the basic gist of processes. And then uh, flashcards is like a way. Flashcards and sorting these last two are a way for you to do a quick review um, and to do a knowledge check. It's not as formal as a quiz, but it's it's there to help them uh, organize information and recall some of it. All right. So these are just some demos of flashcards, front and back. All right and then you got sorting which is you know something like that right and if you do the wrong one that's what happens right so those two these two are like not quick knowledge checks that you can use and then finally you have a labeled graphics for visual information where you can just uh, add a uh, let me edit this yeah. So you can add an image, and if it's an anatomy, you can put this on the bone or something like that. Uh, if it's just like uh, you know a course on uh, photography, you know you can go ahead and and label like the background, foreground, or whatever. But this is just for visual information, right? To help visual learners and to label it. So those are all the the tools that, that you would have. There is one more, but. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Oh, internet media. All right, now I don't see it anymore. There used to be a way you could add a specific storyline process, but I don't. Oh yeah, you can here. So if you want to add like a custom game or something like that, you can develop it in storyline and then add it in. But you know, for the purposes of something a quick building a quick course you're most likely not going to dabble into this okay I just want to let you know that it's here you can use it if possible but for, for the you know purposes of making a quick course you know, this is all you pretty much need to know so now let me just do a quick review all right first thing you do to build a course is you populate your table of contents okay and you can go ahead and add a label to your chapters or ch chapter groupings by clicking on shift control enter okay next step you want to do to add content is click on add content and go to lessons and then once you go to lessons you can add in a uh, paragraph with text you can add in images all right you can add in uh, bullet list videos step-by-step uh, pro uh, -step processes flashcards and uh, sorting for knowledge check and then for visual information you can add this uh, labeled graphics and you know between all of these you should have a, a really quick loading course within no time all right so I, I hope this video was helpful and if it was could you please hit that like button as I really appreciate it thank you very much this is Vince from Digital Nomad Institute signing off